Hello everyone and welcome to the 12th edition of the Jack Lead Quiz Contest results. Yes, now it's time to reveal the results for the quiz contest which was conducted on 22nd of June. So those who are new make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon. So these are the rules for the quiz contest. You can pause the video and see what are the rules. So let's first discuss the questions. The first question was the red tides in water bodies occur due to which of the following? And here the correct option will be option number C. Yes, as you can see in this picture that the red tides are formed due to the presence of dinoflagellates. So they are having two flagella that's why they are called dinoflagellates and they are responsible for this bioluminescence nature. Moving on to the second question. The second question was the moisture content is maximum in which kind of coal? So here the correct option will be option number C the lignite coal. So anthracite is having the least moisture content followed by bituminous coal and lignite coal. So you should know that more the moisture content less is the quality of coal. Moving on to the next question. The next question was what do we get by dividing the unexplained variance with the explained variance. So the correct answer will be option number C. Yes we get the F ratio by dividing unexplained variance with the explained variance. Moving on to the next question. The next question was to calculate the enthalpy we can use which of the following formula. So here the correct option will be option number D none of these because the correct formula will be H is equal to U plus PV where U is the internal energy, P is pressure and V is volume. Moving on to the next question. The next question was the standard size for the femtoplankton is how much? And here the correct option will be option number C. So the femtoplankton are having the size less than 0.2 micrometer. The sixth question was the chemosynthetic bacteria derive energy from which of the following? So here the correct option will be option number B as from the term it is sensed that the chemicals are used to prepare the food. Yes for example in this case the hydrothermal vents release the hydrogen sulphide which are combined with carbon dioxide and water to make sugar which is the food for the fishes. Moving on to the next question. The next question was the for skewed distribution mode is equal to how much? So here the correct option will be option number A. Yes, mode is equal to 3 median minus 2 mean in case of skewed distribution. The next question was which of the following is an integrated conservation mission of India? So here all of you have given the correct answer and the correct option is option number C Namami Gange program which was started in the year 2014. The ninth question was the new lizard species dwarf gecko is discovered by whom? So here you should know that the Maharashtra CM Mr. Uddhav Thakre's son Tejas Thakre has discovered a new species of lizard whose name is Nemapspis magnifica. And our final question was pick the odd one out. So it was a very simple question actually the basic concept and here the correct option will be option number B. Yes, the phosphorus cycle is the odd one out because rest of the cycle that is nitrogen, sulfur and water are having their gases phase but phosphorus is not having the gases phase. So now it's time to reveal the name of the winner and the winner is Asma Parvez. So congratulations to Asma Parvez for securing 10 out of 10 and commenting first. So along with Asma, Deepsika Gupta, Harshi Joshi, Srishti and Pragati Singh have also secured 10 out of 10 marks. So other participants were Chanchal Kumari, Zubi, Anurag, Soman Jana, Sabnam Kamboj, Fatima Selna, Rayaz Meer and Ayu Ag. So congratulations to all the participants and thanks for participating in this quiz contest. So try to compete with your own self and secure more good marks in the upcoming quiz. And if you like this video and the concept of quiz, don't forget to like, share and subscribe the channel. All the best to everyone.